All you need is a ticket to the dance, and then from there, I got no idea. Yeah, you, you're going to wind up on the back page of the New York tabloids for sure. They're <laughs> making the playoffs here, David. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't, I, I can't, <laughs> like, I don't think it's very wise for any betting man to say that Aaron Rodgers is not going to make the playoffs. Okay, better bet. Jets make or miss the playoffs. <sighs> Look, when the time comes, maybe I'll pick them to make it. But the better bet right now is for them to miss. Oh, it, what? this is because of the wow. mini camp. Well, it is. You changed. You know, you guys know when he first went Real to the Jets. Drugs, man. When he first went, well, I don't like drugs, but when he first went to the Jets, <laughs> what I, I was like, you guys, I was like, man, he's he's gonna be forty. He didn't have a great year in Green Bay. Mm -hmm. eh. I was kind of so-so about it. Then, when I saw how all in he was, yeah, you oh, that Prescott. Super Bowl trophy looks lonely. Yeah. He, he was, he, and he owned the responsibility. Like, I, I know it's about winning the Super Bowl. And then he gave up some money at one point, like, right? Yeah. Shifted the contract mm -hmm. a little. I was like, oh, he's all in until a week ago. Because oh. that's not you. all in. It's the mini that's not all yeah. in. And I know, I don't want to make the mini camp like it's the biggest thing. Because well, he'll, he'll, I don't think it, how he plays is going to be based on that. If he plays poorly, it's not because he missed. If he plays great, it's not, you know, it has nothing to do with that. But it's just bad leadership. I think it sets a bad tone with the team. And it shows me that he's, he's not all in like I thought. He he's might not think he in, is. Neither is Brew. <laughs> no, that's how I go. Yeah. Now, these are my four teams that are definitely oh, making ooh. the playoffs. Oh, wow. Right now. Early predictions. Chiefs, Ravens, Texans, Bills. They're definitely in. Okay. Now, the Jets are in this next batch, which is definitely in the hunt. All right? And this is a long – I know it's a big list, but so that – that means there's only five teams out. Yeah, yeah, but but yeah. I, do you any of those? Te what teams do you disagree with on there that'll be in the hunt? Steelers, Jets. really? Steelers always are in the hunt. Yeah, okay, that's yeah, but that's fine. And they got that's better a different quarterback. Segment. Okay, go ahead. The, okay, so, no, that's that's. So you, I, I don't. I think it's a better bet that they don't. I think this is like a classic overreact to June storyline type of situation. It's it's a mini camp. It's not a good look. It's not good leadership. It doesn't show that he's all in. But he played four snaps last year, and they won seven games. Like, whatever we think. Hold on, though. That's whatever we I, I'm with you well, Go ahead. Let you, I'll let you finish. That's what, a whatever solo. whatever solo. we think of it's ayahuasca and darkness retreats and the weirdness of Aaron Rodgers. But we Rogers. think it's illegal. That's well, what we think. Well, he's, <laughs> he's better than Trevor Simeon and Tim Boyle and Zach Wilson, right? Yes. We all agree. Okay. So they're going to get better quarterback play so, this year. They upgraded their offensive line, and it is a very good team. They have stars at premium so positions. They, but no, hold on a Are second. Are they definitely wait, in wait. the playoffs, though? They got no, the tough no, he's said better the, bet. the smarter bet, first of all, they're minus 170 to make the playoffs right now. Yeah. So the odds makers say it's more likely yeah, than not yeah, they yeah, go to the a good this, division. Okay, it's so hold on. First division. of all, I want to I, I want to debunk two things yeah. that I've been trying to debunk with the Jets for two years, and I just keep being right, and I keep having to hear them. One is, they have all these stars. They have, hold on. They have Garrett Wilson. I, on offense. Sauce Gardner. On, no, I'm drawing on offense. So obviously, they have an excellent defense. On offense. This I, Mike Bre Williams. Brees Hall is very good. Brees Hall. Brees Hall he's healthy, hold he's on good, a second he's about healthy, Brees Hall. I had the same good. argument last year. <laughs> and Brees Hall, going into week 18 last year, had 800 yards rushing. Then they tried to game the system to get him 1,000, and they couldn't do the math right. Yeah. So he finishes the year, Brees Hall last year, for the record. He might be helping had the better quarterback. Had slightly right. more yards than Rashad White and slightly less than Tony Pollard, who Brew is out on. So I'm not saying – I am not saying Brees Hall is not good. He is not a star. Mike Williams has not been a star in four years. So I don't want to he hear they have all these healthy, stuff. Well, he's a good, he didn't is he magically not a star get an elixir. Receiver? I don't know, Tyron man. Tyron Smith, Bur star. The, the, okay, the, again, his problem is the health. But now let me go to the bigger problem I have, Danny, because I heard the same thing last year, which is wild. Yeah. They won seven games uh, yeah. with terrible quarterback play. That cuts in both directions. In 2022, they beat two starters at quarterback, Thank you. and they beat Jacoby Brissett, Mitch Trubisky, Skylar right. Thompson, Brett Whit Rippin, Mike White, and then a good quarterback in Josh Allen and a random good quarterback named Aaron Rodgers. In 2023, they beat two good quarterbacks, 
Josh Allen and Jalen Hurts, and then they beat Russ, DeVito, Davis Mills, Jacoby Brissett, and Bailey Zappi. So this but I, they didn't have a quarterback. And CJ, CJ played. They had a worse game. quarterback. C, the, well, that was the, Bale, that was the Davis Mills game. So the Davis oh, CJ yeah. got knocked out. They Davis knocked Mills him out. That's, yeah. I, I understand that. The idea so that we're all of a sudden just going to be like for the second straight year, this team was their quarterback play was so bad, and they won seven games. They were got all their wins in games where the quarterback play was equivalent. Yeah. Where they they did they weren't at a quarterback deficit. So why all of a sudden are they going to take the Three of the jump? games they were, first of all. The, you, we Zach missed. Wilson and Tim Boyle, you are at a quarterback deficit against plenty of the guys uh, on that Tommy yeah. DeVito, Davis Mills, Bailey Zappi. Have you seen Bailey Zappi we play? Were, we were trying to lose that game. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're, they're, <laughs> the record. But, but the, the Bills, the, the Texans, and uh, the Eagles, they, they had pretty good wins. They had three quarter, wins. They were like, with, you know what? With the, the worst previous quarterback year they had play two. in the league. I, oh, okay. So I they, mean, seriously. So, so you – and to go to the first point, you think they have stars all over the team? Because well, I defense don't. does matter. Well, yeah, I, I, I agree the defense matters. And they've got stars on defense. I think they have a very good defense, but I think right now the list of top five defenses is 12 teams long, as yeah. it is every year. Every year, it's the, they're going to have a top five But it doesn't have to be top five. five. It like certainly top does. If they, have a really? t- if they have the ninth best defense in football, they're drawing dead. Last year, what was it? Well, it's it's top ten? You always change. No, there are different, you different, different numbers to look it's at. It's not as good as you think, and then it's like, well, a lot of that is Zach Wilson, bad field position. Well, that's true. It, it that is, is true. true. It is true. Longer but drive, it's comp- defense, rest more. It's football. I know. But the, 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 Robert Sala sat down with Albert Breer, <laughs> talked about how great of a now team really get back. Rogers has been. He's a phenomenal the, resource. I will this is tougher to defend. Yeah, this Him being here. Now, this was done after he was gone, so kind of strange. And attacking the offseason right. and it's doing everything that we've asked him has been fantastic. He's a great teammate, and we're appreciative of him. Yeah, okay. Your reaction? I mean, coaches lie. I... Yeah, you know, I mean, that's, that's indefensible. I mean, it was great when he was a man about town and sitting courtside with Sauce Gardner and all that, right. but every starting quarterback in the league was at mandatory minicamp except for him. I mean, this is undeniably a bad look for Aaron Rodgers. I will not defend this, but I will also not overreact to it. I don't think June is going to matter in September. So so this is where I think everyone, I think people are being dishonest with how they're phrasing it. Not just Robert Sala being obviously dishonest there. I think everyone agrees that whatever they learn or don't learn in these two days in June is not going to have a massive impact on September. But that is not why this is a story. It's a story because does what one does. If, if, if I were showing up to work drunk in June, and I'm like, guys, don't worry. The shows really only matter in football season. You might be a little worried. Well, come football season, yeah, our buddy Nick and, might and have a might drinking problem. Morale. And it might hurt morale. And I might not be able to yell at Dusty yeah, anymore. Like, he's going to be I like, why can't I be drunk? <laughs> I want to yell this stuff. There'd be problems. Well, so I think MVPs. that I... No, but that, but the, he, not with the Jets. But he's he hasn't. Forty-two. That's and, the thing. And so, like, sure. I, so I just, I don't think it's. I, I agree that if Aaron Rodgers had missed mini camp because he got uh, the flu, and uh, or just had was sick and missed those reps, I don't think it would hurt them. But the fact that he is opting to do this. And then there is an excuse train being laid out where Salah's doing an interview with the reporter who implied he's on an ayahuasca trip saying Aaron has done everything just already shows me this is a dysfunctional franchise. The dysfunctional franchise part doesn't concern you. It's enough to move Brew. It is enough to move Brew. I can't, I can't believe can I? Nathaniel Hackett still has a job. They're definitely dysfunctional. I just think they're better with him than without him. Can I well, that, pitch something to you, Brew? No about that. We heard this and you mentioned it. When Stefan Diggs missed a day or maybe half a day of training camp. And he was concerned and he wasn't concerned. And I think the same line of thought I, could pop up and be like, half a day? You worried about half a day when it comes to the playoffs? Like, no, not really. I don't think he's going to learn a different route and work on it. But it showed cracks in the team's foundation that ended up crumbling the entire Bills. Well, that's a little strong, strong wilds. It ended up <laughs> breaking, it, no, fracturing it, the relationship. It was the beginning it was a of a break of what, yeah. It, it was yeah. a sign of what really was going on. And look, Sala could have, it's, like you said, the worst thing is this took place after he went to to 
You smoke what ayahuasca or whatever it is you do with it. <laughs> um, but he could have def he could have said this without killing Rodgers.